Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I want to talk about this recent microscope that I purchased. This is a classical microscope made probably in the 1970s by Lace Wessler Trinocular Microscope. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If not, make a comment below. It's made in Germany and uh, there was missing a few parts. I actually purchased for uh, less than $100 for this microscope, but I thought maybe let's give it a try and see if I can change something to make it work again. Now, everything comes with it, does work. The only problem with it is that it's missing a few things. So let me talk about it and I'll tell you what I modified in this microscope to get it working to almost its perfect condition. All right, so here it is. I bought this beautiful, very heavy, made of <laughs> solid metal here. You can see, this is why I love a microscope that was made back in the 1970s, 1980s, even the 60s. What's interesting about this microscope is that there's a middle uh, ocular microscope right here where you can actually put your camera in there. Now, uh, originally when I bought it, it didn't have that ability to kind of connect to a camera, right? So I had to modify a bit of it, actually it's a very cheap way to do this, I'll show you in a minute. And um, the objective lens is missing. As you can see here, we have only one objective lens and it's only four times, okay? And then of course the ocular lens uh, that comes with it is only 10 times. So I was able to only view 40 times magnification. It's missing other objective lens. In addition, what's the worst part is that the uh, light source that comes with it is this old halogen uh, lamp source. It works, but the thing is it didn't come with a transformer. This type of microscope comes with a big transformer which didn't come with this microscope. So I actually end up um, uh, trying it out with my lithium battery, it works. And then I made a mistake by plugging it directly to the AC power plug and boom, the light bulb uh, broke apart. And um, so now I'm stuck with it, right? Well, actually, no, I actually modify it so that I am able to get it to work again. Let me start with the light source first, what I did when I modified it. So I have this halogen light. This is a uh, 20 watt light power. It was flat. And what I am happening is that I put it directly into the uh, condenser where the light comes in there, right? So you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a, a uh, round light source. It has a halogen, very tiny lamp, that's 20 watt, and uh, it's hooked up and placed inside here. And you can see the wire to connect to my transformer. Now, you know, nowadays the transformer is such small, devices, right? Look and see that compared to <laughs> the uh, Lice uh, Wessler uh, microscope, which came with a huge box of uh, steel box transformer. This one, look at that, very tiny. So all I have to do is just plug that in like this, and that's it. And then just plug in the power supply and, okay. And now it's working again. You can see the light source coming out. There we go. Um, it's pretty good, okay? So that was done and so the reason I did that is because the halogen uh, light bulb is very cheap to get now. I don't have to buy the specialized light bulb that comes with this microscope and I don't know if they sell those anymore. In addition, the transformer, I mean it's, yeah, uh, I didn't like the fact that it's very bulky so, you know, this tiny one is much better. So that's modified, the light source is now modified so it's working, there's light that's going into the um, microscope, right? The next thing I had to fix was the objective lens. Now it came with this four times objective lens, which is a beautiful objective lens, by the way. But the fact is that I want the rest of them as well. So I can't afford it. I, I look on um, Kijiji and eBay and each one of them is over 150 to $200 or even maybe more. And that's like gonna cost me $800 just to get all the <laughs> whole collection of it, right? Thank goodness the modern objective uh, lens actually fits really well into this 1970, I think it's 1970 uh, microscope. So I was able to just put it in. So what I am doing is that I took out the lace objective lens, so I took that out. And, and the reason I do that is because if I put in the other objective lens 
the focal length is gonna be a bit different. So I have to make sure that I have a whole set of similar objective lens uh, from the same company to put into this microscope so that when I look at the image, it focal length is not gonna be uh, too much difference between the image and the light source, okay? So that's why I end up using the same type of objective lens from a no-name brand. Actually, this one is from the, I got it from the Ampscope which is actually not bad. And I'll show you the image in a minute. So what I end up doing is that taking this uh, four times lace objective lens and place it into my amp scope, which is okay. It works really well. Um, I set it up so that now it only have one objective lens and I can use it to like say view a bigger object like insects and all that. And uh, I might be able to like using a pin and other type of tools to break apart the uh, body of the insects or uh, other smaller organism and see under a microscope 40 times, okay? Or I actually end up putting 25 times for 100 times. So between 40 to 100 times just by changing the ocular lens. So there we go. This microscope is still useful. Now the objective lens from the amp scope microscope can now be replaced into this lace microscope, right? This uh, classic microscope. It works really well. I'm going to show you the image in a minute, but let me... Uh, Place it in there. So let's go with the 100 time objective lens. Let's put that in. See, this is what I like about it. Like, it fits really well. Like, you just you just screw it in, and it works perfectly. You see that? There we go. Standard, right? That's what I like about it. Even a 1970s uh, microscope still works with the objective lens of the 1990 or 2000s, right? So it works really well. So here we have a. 40 time. Okay, let's put that in. Again, fits perfectly in there. I wish I could get lace uh, objective lens, but they're just too expensive. I can't afford it. You know, this microscope I, I bought for less than 100 bucks, and then to get objective lens, that's like, you know, eight times, you know, the whole set, eight times what it costs, it's gonna be, you know, uh, breaking the bank there for me. Okay, so um, no, maybe someday I will be able to acquire it, but just knowing the fact that I could just use any objective lens and put it in there and it still works well, that's, that's good to know, right? Okay, and last one we're gonna put in is the four times. Okay, so the objective lens now fixed. The light is now fixed, as you can see. On top of here, as you can see that uh, I don't have a special ocular tubes that allows you to put in the camera, right? So what I am up doing is that I actually create this little cushion plastic in there and I'm able to take a special camera ocular lens and with a Nikon adapter, camera adapter to Sony, I'm able to just slip it in like this. Let me just show you, there we go. And now I can take my Sony camera. I'm gonna use the A5000 just to illustrate that. I could use any other Sony camera. And now if you have Nikon, you don't need this special adapter. You can just put it directly. But since I have only uh, Sony uh, for now, uh, I'm just going to put in my Sony camera. Okay, let me just show you right now. There we go. There. Okay. And now I could just look at it. Okay. So if I turn on now, sometimes you might have to put something there just to keep it steady there. Okay. And then you, then you have to swing this... Uh, Partition, let me show where is it there. There we go. Then turn on my camera and I should be able to see it. Um, let's see. Let's, there we go. You can see. And we can see the, yeah, you can see probably the image now, right? There we go. There, okay. It's pretty cool. Um, I just have to switch over. Let's see. There we go. See? You can see that um, there's image coming to the camera. Uh, on the top. So it's working pretty good. Now I also modified the ocular lens here. It's originally was 10 time. I could put in a 20 times or 25 times. Okay. So now this microscope can actually do 2000 times. Okay. Magnification. And it does a really good job. I actually tried it already. I had a image that uses oil immersion 100 times. This one here. Where is it? Yeah. This one here. Okay, 100 times with oil immersion, uh, add a bit of oil, and then put it on the slide, and I was able to see the image pretty clearly. 
And in addition, um, I changed that 10 times to 20 or 25 times um, ocular lens. So in theory, I'm able to get uh, 2,000 times. In fact, I was able to see it uh, 2,000 times. It's pretty good, actually. But 25 um, times plus 100, times 100 will only give you 2,500 times. So um, there's not much difference between 2,000 and 2,500. So I end up sticking with neither a 10 time objective or 20 time objective. Neither I can view it as a thousand times or 2,000 times, okay, with an oil immersion uh, 100 time objective lens. So this is a true uh, 2,000 time uh, microscope compared to, you know, a lot of these claims, like they sometimes say that this microscope here, this amp scope and other, you know, no-name brand, they'll say, oh, it can do up to 2,000 times. But when you look at it, it doesn't resolve the 200 times. But these type of classic microscope can resolve, even with the you know, not so great objective lens, can resolve a pretty good image um, 2,000 times. So I'm very proud to have purchased this Lace Wesler uh, Trinocular Microscope. It does do the job that uh, I wanted to do. And I was able to modify the lighting system, add on the objective lens and the ocular lens and as well as modify the tube here so I can view it on my camera. So yeah, this is awesome, awesome trinocular microscope. Classic, probably made in the 1970s. Well built, amazing built, solid. Like, you can't go wrong with this. This is like, look kind of pretty new actually. I'm just surprised that there were, uh, nobody was, I guess, um, you know, that we saw it and thought this is, you know, because it's missing so many things that I uh, don't want it. But, you know, if you have the, the parts for it, I think this is an amazing microscope. Uh, you know, in 1970s, 1980s, they make beautiful microscope, I have to say. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. At the end of the video, I'll show you the video of the onion root tip slide, and I'll attach that to the video at the end, okay? So it will, you will see it, uh, the image in 40 times, 100 times, 400 times, and 1,000 times under oil immersion. And you'll be quite impressed with the image quality that comes out of this old classic uh, microscope with a modified lighting system and uh, no-name brand objective lens with a special adapter for the uh, camera, right? Bye, I'll see you soon. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. Okay, so this is 100 times. Let's see if you can focus better there. 100 times. This is 400 times. Let's see if we can get it right. Okay, then we're going to try the oil immersion. Let's 